Thanks for joining in to Extreme Reloading. Now I'm reloading for the 300 PRC this season and I think we've almost got it figured out. However, while I'm loading both the 220 grain Burger and the 230 grain Hornady A-tip bullets, it hasn't been very clear about which one performs better in my Barrett MRAD rifle. That's probably because I've been shooting everything at 100 yards. So sometimes we need to stretch it out a little bit to see which bullet actually does perform better and hold up over longer ranges. Well, if we go too long, 500 yards or something like that, there's going to be far too much shooter error involved and we won't know what the bullet is really doing. So for this sort of test, I like to use 200 yard five shot groups. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm ready to head out and we are more or less going to separate the men from the boys, the wheat from the chaff between the 220 grain burger, long range hybrid target and the 230 grain Hornady A-tip match bullet. Got it? Well, let's go ahead and head out to the range. Try in the upper left. Five. Now that last set of burger bullets flew a little bit to the right, so I made a correction to the left. And I'm shooting at the center bull. five back on safe well there certainly is a difference in the performance of these two bullets and I'm really happy I went ahead and did this test at 200 yards by the way I use what I call my trigger cam this time and the reason why I did that is I wanted to see how consistently I was squeezing the trigger uh, all those things well as many things as possible that I could capture on film, on video, about how I was squeezing the trigger and, um, and firing those shots. I didn't see anything particularly different when I had fired or shot the Burger five-shot group versus the Hornady bullet five-shot group. But if you caught something, I'd be interesting, uh, interested to know about that. Pop those ideas or observations into the comment section uh, below, if you don't mind. Now let's take a look at the results closely. This won't take too long. Now what we're looking at here is the extreme spread. That's our first column of data. And the first row of data 
shows the results for the 220 grain Burger Hybrid match bullets. The second row is for the Hornady A-tip match bullets. And I will note that both of these groups were using Lapua brass. I did not use the Peterson brass in this test today. The extreme spread measured in MOA was sub-MOA for both groups. Well, sort of barely, I guess, with the Burger hybrid match, but still 0.85 MOA for that five-shot group. But we're getting really close to half MOA for the Hornady A-tip match. The mean radius also shows that the Hornady five-shot group was a better group. 0.67 inch for the Burger and 0.40 inch for the Hornady A-tip match. Mean velocities, the 220 grain bullet, I really wanted to all along, if you've been watching the entire season of Extreme Reloading, my goal was to get about 2,800 feet per second. I did that. When we step it out, just those 10 extra grains, a 230 grain bullet, we're not going to achieve 2,800 feet per second very easily. So getting 27, 2750 really is just fine. And we, we kind of hit that. We certainly hit 2700, didn't quite hit the 2750, but I'm not complaining. This is 2731. Standard deviations of those muzzle velocities, as you can see, nice single digit for the Burger Hybrid match. Almost double that, actually more than double that for the Hornady A-tip match. Now I have seen lots of times where a nice precise group does not get a really tight standard deviation of muzzle velocities. I don't know really why that is. The, the theory is that a nice low standard deviation of muzzle velocities will give you a more precise group. And sometimes they say, well, you don't see it at 100 yards. Well, this wasn't at 100 yards. This was a 200 yard group. So you'd think we should see that Hornady A-tip match with 16.5 feet per second standard deviation opening up. But it didn't. It did a great job. Really did a very, very nice job. Well, what did these bullets do from 100 yards? Let's take a look at some of those results. What we're looking at here is the 100 yard extreme spread, again an MOA, versus the 200 yard and the difference between those two. Notice how really, really similar these bullets actually did perform. In fact, the Hornady A-tip shot better, a tighter group at 200 yards compared to what it did at 100 yards. But it is so close, so close. It's a hundredth, uh, hundredth place difference, so I'm not going to make a big deal about that. The muzzle velocities are really interesting also. I essentially got the same muzzle velocity at 100 yards as I did at 200 yards. So I'm really happy how that turned out. The standard deviation of the muzzle velocities between a 100 yard group and the 200 yard group, just those previous groups, uh, the Burger bullet came in so similar, again, almost identical, nice single digit standard deviation of muzzle velocities. The Hornady A-tip match, just about half um, at the 100-yard group compared to the 200-yard group. Overall, it's pretty straightforward results. You can't argue too much that, um, that the Hornady didn't win, right? It, it did a great job. That Hornady A-tip match really, really seems to be a good bullet in this particular rifle. Now again, if you have any ideas or observations, notes about this group or questions about this group or uh, the load workup, any of those sorts of things, feel free to post those into the comment section below. I'll try to answer those as quickly as possible. Thank you for watching.